everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Elite Action Figure Review on the Ringside Exclusive Cameron Grimes WWE Elite Action Figure. Man, first time in the line, and I gotta say, I feel like this figure has been in the works forever. And when I say forever, I mean forever. I do not remember the first time we got to see this figure or the render, but I feel like it was forever ago, like years, man. I mean, you can kind of tell the age of it just by the window here. You know, they did the little cutaway deal here where you have to actually like break the seal in order to see in here. You know, they don't do this gimmick anymore. They got rid of it with the ringside exclusive Hulk Hogan. But I just feel like we have not seen, like I, I could, like they, they took forever on this figure or I maybe COVID had something to do with it or maybe, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like it was forever. You guys can let me know, but Cameron Grimes is finally here, and it's kind of wild just finally having this figure, finally having Cameron Grimes, but I really like the packaging a lot, as you guys can see right here. So much money. You got the Cameron Grimes right there, similar to a dollar bill. You got all the nice floral stuff. Cameron Grimes, it ain't even funny. Cameron Grimes down here. It's like the stock font, which is a really terrible font. It's very, very plain Jane, but it's really cool. It's got the green arrows, like the stocks going up to the moon, baby. WWE logo. First time in the line down here. You have the ringside exclusive logo. Cameron Grimes up here with the stocks again. You got your stock exchange here. Mattel logo up there. On the side, you got an image of Grimes. Very cool packaging, man. I love the, the money elements and the green and the stocks. It's it's very, very clean. You got an image of Cameron Grimes over here on this side. On the back, you get a nice shot of him counting his money there. To the moon on the back right there. If you'd like to read it, you can go ahead and pause it now. More little info down here. Spinning it back to the front. We already took a look at the figure, but we can look again. There's Cameron Grimes and all his glory. You got the money. You got the million dollar championship. Very cool looking action figure, man. I'm ready to pop him out of the packaging, find out what the hell he's all about, and see if he's all about his money. Is this figure money? Let's find out together, man. Let's crack Cameron Grimes out of his packaging and find out what he's all about. So here's Cameron Grimes out of his packaging, man. Looking pretty good as he spins round and round. Really liking all the stuff that we have going on with this figure, man. You guys know that the ringside exclusives, that's another thing that I have to add right now. If you guys would like to grab this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. That is the only place you can grab this because it is, in fact, a ringside exclusive. You guys know that they like to do some top NXT talent, some top talent that, you know, only hardcore fans are going to want in, you know, how they do online exclusives and stuff like that. So don't put them in the main line. Put them in the exclusive. And and he will move units. You know, we've seen this over the years with many, many different guys, different figures, different stuff throughout the years of ringside exclusives and NXT and all the different stuff. However, man, I'm liking what I'm seeing with this figure, and it's just kind of bonkers that we finally have this figure in hand. I'm excited to get into it, break it all down, but you guys know how it works. We're going to run through his accessories first, and we'll take a closer look at Cameron Grimes himself. And before we get into his accessories, you guys know that the ringside exclusives do, do come with like the trifold background here, and it's just the entrance, you know, just like his Titan Tron. He's got the entry way right here you guys can see all the different stuff so it's just a little cardboard accessory that they always include with the ringside exclusives or at least they have for the last little bit now maybe the last few years two three years or so but you do get a cameron grimes nxt background right there you got the x you got the you know the cameron grimes with all the stuff but you know had to mention it because it does come with the figure and you know you can use this for display or whatever but i'm just going to put it in my closet and let it rot there for the rest of eternity so getting into grimes accessories man starting out first well i mean you get you get some pretty good stuff here i say you get a, a sizable amount of accessories some new stuff going on that i like of course you do have the million dollar championship i really wish they change it up because we've seen this so many times do i mean it looks good we've seen this multiple times though i'd like to see some more shine or something going on because i mean it was a pretty belt you know it, like it shined and I, I wish that would come across in figure form but pretty thin and tiny belt going on but you do have the million dollar championship which is pretty cool got the studs and got the diamond plated and you know the gold and everything like that i just wish i had more shine to it and shimmer you know i'd like to see them change it up since we've seen this for so many years but it does have the clasp on it so you know you can you can clasp that if you'd like so it just hooks on like that and boom you got a million dollar championship we also have our stacks of money accessories so you do get the benjamins right there and it's just a stacks of a bunch of money right there i see some tens i think is that some tens some random tens in there maybe some 20s i don't know but kind of weird they throw tens in there but it may be all hundreds i don't know i can't tell i'd imagine it'd be all hundreds but you do get some stacks of cash they have nice mold to them I, it looks photo realistic you know it's 
got TrueFX technology on there, kind of cool, but they flip this one around, which is kind of weird, but you know, this is a really cool accessory, and this also goes hand in hand, pun intended, with our new hands that we have that hold all the money like this that goes stacks across, so I think this could work for like hands on the hips hands, you know, maybe you can get some other uses out of them, but these are awesome. I love this, so you know, you can see, originally I thought that the, the money came like molded in the hand, but you can unplug it like that, and it does go in there, so it holds it pretty good, you get the thumb in there, I mean, it looks pretty good, I think this is awesome, really cool accessory right there, and you can use these hands for other things, but these Cameron Grimes hands can work for other guys, such as Ted DiBiase and stuff like that, you know, you can use that on any, any other guy that you want. Other than the money holding hands, we also have our pointer fingers right there, so you get your pointer fingers that we've seen before, you also get your standard mic holding hands, which we've seen, and then you get a standard brown vest, which looks to be the same mold that we've seen on other people, but it's just a brown vest, and then you do have some buttons that are painted on there, so it's, you know, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it is there. You also get his top hat right here, which has a nice little dual tone going with the brown and black, and you do have the buckle going around, and then you got like chain loose coming off there. Nice little sculpt. This looks to be a one-of-one -one hat right here that we haven't seen before, so that's pretty cool. And if you guys want to see what it looks like on the figure, even though we already really saw it on the figure, you know, you can just pop that on there, and it looks good. Fits him well. Can't ask much more for that for the Cameron Grimes accessories. So getting into Grimes himself, man, starting out at the top of the head sculpt, reminds me a lot of the Legends Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, right? Just that... <laughs> You get the point. Yeah, just yelling, laughing, mocking, head sculpt looking pretty good. I like it. You know, I think it's got the likeness on there. Thick beard hanging down. I think the likeness is there. I think the colors are there. I like it a lot, man. I think I think they did a pretty outstanding job on it. He got the long flowing hair. He's got his flow going there. Pretty daggum long hair, too. He's got the long brown locks going. Going down to the chest hair. I mean, they did a number on this chest hair, man. Look at all that chest hair. You guys can see it gets a bit messy right in here, but, you know, I, I, like it kind of looks like they went with regular chest hair, and then <laughs> I saw some jokes online where somebody said they just lit, you know, they just put a lighter to it and lit the thing on fire, which is kind of funny. It does look like it got burnt. It really does, but at the same time, I mean, it's pretty accurate. You know, I don't really have an issue with it. I think it's something a little bit different than we're used to. It's a lot of stomach hair. He's a hairy individual. I think it works. You know, I don't think it's too, too outside the realm. You know, it, it gets the job done, so I'm not gonna tear it to shreds. Uh, I like it, actually. Just right in here looks a bit funny, doesn't it? Got like this thick part, and then it's got like a circle right there, but not a big deal. You have the double jointed arms, no wrist tape or anything like that. Kind of plain Jane trunks going on with the brown and the black. You do have your little studs on there. Nothing like too crazy or anything. Yeah, kind of standard trunks. I mean, the, the gear from the from the neck down, the figure's pretty boring. Not a lot going on with it. Not a ton of details and stuff, but you do get the black knee pads that are open. You have the solid black kick pads, and they are not pinless. So, you know, and he's not on ball joints. He is on the pine cone joints, but I still believe he moves around pretty well. I think that his articulation is good. Anybody that's posed around a Daniel Bryan, that's what you get here, but you do get double jointed arms. So, you know, he can't look down that much or up that much because of the long hair and the long beard. But at the same time, you know, it's 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 good. It's solid. It's it, it gets the job done. But there's Trevor. Almost called this man Trevor Lee. That's on me. But for your camera gripes figure comparisons, here's Ted DiBiase. That's really all I can compare him to right now. But I just wanted to see what these look like up next to each other. And you guys know that you can. If you have the Legends Ted DiBiase, you can pop this out. And you can legit plop in his new money holding hands. And now look. Now look, look how sick this is. Now your Ted DiBiase can hold money too. How cool is that, man? That's awesome. So if you didn't want to buy this figure for the Cameron Grimes figure itself, you can buy it for the accessories, like the million dollar title or the money accessories, which are great. Pretty cool stuff right there, man. I think that's amazing. And then what does he look like with the hat on? That's another thing that we need to know. Because everybody knows Ted DiBiase wore a top hat like this. I actually dig that. Looking like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. But anyways, man, that's pretty much going to wrap up this WWE Elite figure review on the ringside exclusive To The Moon Cameron Grimes. I'm going to call it the To The Moon Cameron Grimes. I actually like this figure a whole lot. I think it's got a lot of great things going on. Poses really well, double jointed arms. I think they went a bit overkill with the chest hair. I guess it's pretty accurate, but it does have a little bit of paint chip in the middle of it. Not the biggest deal because, you know, ch chest hair is not always fully uniform, right? I mean, I, I can get over that. I think the likeness is cool. The accessories are cool. I love the money accessories. I like the new hands we got going on kind of plain jane gear but it's not you know that's not really what it's about with this guy and i i like it i like this figure now go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys save 10 percent i think this is worth the grab man i really really do i think it's great i get like a lot of mixed feelings about i i feel like this is kind of like the old era of mattel figures mixed with the new era with these like daniel bryan legs and crotch 
I mean, it's also the torso, but they have the double jointed arms on there. I like the head sculpt. I like it, man. It's not everybody's favorite, but I think you get some cool accessories with it that you could use in other parts of your collection. I like it, man. Really cool figure. I think it's worth the grab. If you're not a Cameron Grimes guy or you don't need the money, then what's the point of getting it? You know what I mean? I mean, what would be the point of getting it? But I like it a lot. But before we get out of here, man, let's get into our random shout out. This shout out's going to go to Daniel, who says, I don't know whether to buy the Cody Rhodes with the TNT title or the Cody Rhodes Supreme. What do you recommend? And I'd say if you're going to buy any unrivaled, like regular Cody, get the TNT. It's the best one by far. But if you want to go with all the bells and whistles, man, the best top of the line, more bang for your buck Cody Rhodes figure, then go with the Supreme. Even though the TNT is really damn good, man. You can't go wrong with it, and it's much cheaper. But the Supreme is two in one, so it's something to think about. But I don't think you can go wrong with either or. But a huge shout-out to Daniel for the comment, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your thoughts down below on the Cameron Grimes figure. Are you guys going to pick this one up? Is it a boring release? Is it eh? Let me know all your thoughts down below. But I'm getting out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you guys next time. You crossed the line.